horrific monsters and spectral presences lurk. This is Thomas Carvey. He believes an acquaintance here is planning to murder him. In manners, crypts, schools, monasteries, and derelict buildings near Arkham, Massachusetts. Welcome to my home. Please excuse the mess. It was a minor incident earlier, but I will tell everyone all about it during dinner. Some spin dark conspiracies. The sword Carvey has on his wall is just one of several rare pieces he keeps on display. Though truth be told, I am more interested in that book over there. While others wait for hapless victims. Elizabeth Fairview brushes <laughs> off her dress, then smiles. It does not matter, she sneers. This is merely a setback. To devour or drive insane. I was promised ultimate knowledge. You will not stand in my way now. It's up to a handful of brave investigators. You are impaled. God damn it. Guess I'll die. <laughs> well, it was nice being sane, guys. You got this, Min. To explore these cursed places. I go. Now I'm gonna attack it. Well, if a ghost said it, it's got to be true. Oh, but then we can't use dynamite. Do you have dynamite? <laughs> no, but we could. And uncover the truth about the living nightmares within. Ah, I'll take more than some thralls to take down William Yorick. Puzzle completed. Oh, oh absolute beast, man. Well done. An elegant woman sips a drink. Oh, I got to another female voice, damn it. Uh, has that literally lost cost us the game? <laughs> yes, yes it has. Because <laughs> now no one can get to it and hit it. Hobble yourself, James, you can do it! I'm hobbling. You hear the sound of Carvey's yeah. bitter laughter. The oh. investigation <laughs> is complete! <laughs> uh. Good job, guys. Do you dare enter the mansions of madness?